Let's take a look at how Inventor LT handles multiple native file formats. Here you can see we can open up Alias, Katia, JT, ProE, SolidWorks, and Unigraphics file right out of the box using Autodesk Inventor LT Suite. Once the files have been read into Inventor LT, we have the ability to do a base solid edit. So if a customer requires us to make some last minute changes, or maybe internally we're migrating some legacy data from a foreign CAD system into Autodesk Inventor LT, we can now manage these files not only from an import standpoint but also a modification standpoint. So here using the base solid edit tools we can simply take any geometry that we don't want to maintain in this file and go ahead and change it. So we don't have to request a new file from the end customer or if it's our own file we can maintain it now going forward inside of Inventor LT. Moving back into the part modeling environment we now want to make a change. In this case we'll add an additional hole using our hole placement tool and automatically using the geometry of the 3D model, place it concentric on the center face and simply add a nice countersunk locating hole in the center of this pulley. Other information that's important to add into your 3D models are things like material properties. So inside of Inventor LT, we have full use of our styles and standards library that you would see in your 3D tools. So here we can go through and choose from a variety of materials that are preset inside of the software or create our own materials. We'll simply choose a stainless steel and as you would expect now the physical properties of this part reflect that of stainless steel. So here based on that density we can see mass, center of gravity, moments of inertia and the likes. Now with our part modifications done we want to take this file and now create an Inventor LT DWG file. So we can send this down to our manufacturing floor or communicate this design to other people throughout the organization. Using Inventor LT's drawing manager, we can quickly and easily create multiple views of our current 3D model. Off of these base views, you'll see we'll be able to quickly and easily project views that you normally wouldn't do in a 2D system. These isometric views can be somewhat complex and just a lot of geometry to draw. Inside of our 3D system in Venture LT, we're able to quickly and easily create these kind of views without having the headache. We'll also create a few additional views, in this case some section views, just to get a little bit more detail and a little bit more description of our 3D model for our 2D manufacturing environment. Inventor LT's drawing manager automatically projects these section views and we'll just finish it out with a nice detail view to get some of the intricate detail of this belt pulley. Using the tools inside of Inventor LT's drawing manager, we're now able to add all the things that finish off a drawing. So we're able to add all the tedious center marks and center lines that normally could take time. We can add them to all our views simultaneously with a simple command. And then from here, let's go ahead and place some final dimensions and hole callouts to really finalize this drawing and give it its finished approach. As you can see, all the tools are easily available to the designer or the drafter as he creates these dimensions, hole callouts, center marks and center lines, all inside of the Inventor LT drawing environment. Let's take a look at this detail view and just finish up with some final dimensions to really wrap up this view. So what we've been able to do now is be able to import a native file format from a foreign CAD system, modify it, and then inside of Inventor LT, its drawing manager, create a DWG file that we can send either the customer for verification, communicate internally, or send out of the shop floor for manufacturing. 